Hello, welcome to our semiconductor education program. I am Vincent Chan. In this lecture video, I'm going to teach you how to solve the DC analysis for BJT Wheeler current source. BJT Wheeler current source part one DC analysis. Before we move on, I assume you already have foundation on the bipolar current mirror. On the left hand, the difference between these two sides, the left hand side is the basic current mirror, on the right hand side is the Wheeler current mirror or Wheeler current source. So what's the difference? What, what's the difference do you see? You see the major difference is the emitter resistance connect to between between is connected between the emitter of Q2 and the, the, the most negative voltage negative VB is the RE on the right. Let's do an intuitive DC analysis first. For the left hand side, the output current is approximately equal to reference current depending on the impact of finite beta or the impact of finite output resistance or the, the base width modulation effect of the bipolar transistor. On the right, what's your intuitive feeling? What's your intuitive outcome? What would you describe the relationship between I-O and I-reference? What would you describe? First, according to Kirchhoff, Kirchhoff, the voltage law, VB2 will be smaller than VB1. 2 will be smaller than 1. Watch carefully. As long as transistor in 4 active region, then the relationship between IC and the VB will be exponential. So therefore, even the VB differs a little bit, the current will differs dramatically. So in therefore intuitive feeling the, 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 the result is gonna be put down the put down this on your note. The output current is much so smaller than will be much smaller than the reference current. Will be much smaller than the reference current. Alright? Facing, I'm facing some uh, technical difficulty, but it's okay. Let's move on. DC analysis. DC analysis. First, start with KVL, Kirchhoff voltage law. V voltage law. The difference between I mentioned this before. Uh, the difference between two VB is the drop across RE. And then the VBE, the difference between VBE, if you're calling transistors characteristic equals what? VT natural log, reference current divided by IO. Assuming you are very familiar with the, the bipolar characteristic, all right? If you kind of forgot this, then let me just go back a few steps. IC1 reference equals IS exponential this. VB1 divided by thermal voltage. In the same way, you can express IO in terms of the VB. And then what? Divide it. Subtraction on the exponent. Then turn around and VT long. Go follow me, okay? Reference and over is this. So on the left, you use the KVL. On the right, you call on bipolar characteristic and connect both sides together and take out the difference of between VB1 and VB2, then you get this result. This is the result. I want to show you. This is the result of the DC analysis. 
But think about it. Let me mention this. Let me, uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. If someone give you, take this note, okay? Take this in. If someone give you the reference current and the up current, ask you what kind of RE would, would produce this result. For example, left hand side is 1 million, right hand side is 10 microamp, 100 to 1. Remember, I.O. is much smaller than I reference. And ask you what kind of RE, then you can solve this. The first exercise as a homework. You can do this after you watch this video. But what about this? If someone gave you reference current, 0 0.7, let's say 0 0.73 milliamp, and RE 5 kilo ohm, and they ask you the unknown is up current. So what's the answer? Put down this on your note. 0 0.73 milliamp as a reference current, and the RE is 5 kilo ohm. Ask you to solve the output current. How are you going to solve this? IO on the left hand side, linear term. On the right hand side, inside natural log. So the only way to solve this is to try an error. You can also solve this by computer, but if you do the hand analysis, you have to try an error. Let me show you one of the application of this circuit. In analog integrated circuit, bipolar, here's the bipolar 740Y operational amplifier. Differential in the base of Q1 and the base of Q2, and single ended out on the right. Differential in, single ended out. Bias on the left. The red, the circuit within the red zone is the bias circuit. See the corner. The corner one is the Wheeler. So can you can you recognize this? Can you recognize this? It's the Wheeler current mirror. It's the Wheeler current mirror. I C ten will be much smaller than the I reference. The data I just ask you to put down on your note two minutes ago is actually the data here. Let me repeat that. The reference current is 0 0.73 million. You can double check. And then the R4 is 5 kilo ohm. Try to solve the IC10 by yourself. I hope you can do this homework. Try this by yourself. Here's the takeaway. I don't expect you to remember all the, uh, the, 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 the stuff or even the, the nonlinear equation. No. I just want you to get a sense. Get a sense. For the basic current mirror, both currents are relatively close, the same. But on the right, it's much smaller than. I.O. will be much smaller than I reference. Will be much smaller than I reference. So it's suitable for, put down this on your note, take away. Load output current bias. Wheeler current mirror is specially for the application of low power or low bias current design. Low bias current design. Here's the end of this lecture video. Thanks for watching.